YouTube Dawson Rider here with a review for the Ben 10 Ultimate Alien Vehicle with Max Tennyson. It's a plumber ship, and one of the only ways, actually, in my, uh, at least as far as I know, the only way in America right now to get a Max Tennyson figure. So that's why I picked it up. I'll take a quick look at the packaging, and then we will get on with the figure review. Um, up here, we got the Ben 10 Ultimate Alien Standard logo with a logo and Ben doing an action pose. Down here is the figure and the ship. And over here it says six modes, and it shows several of the modes here. Uh, name of the figure down here on the side. Uh, over here there's nothing. Over here it shows some of the other modes. Water mode, ch charging mode, does that say charging mode? Yeah, charging mode, and light speed mode. Right, light speed rescue, what? On the back it shows all the different modes you can do. Light speed, battle max, <laughs> I get it, battle max. Charge mode, crawler mode, water mode, and then, yeah, so there's all those. And on the bottom here, it advertises the Alien Collection. So, let's go ahead and get this bad boy out of the okay, package. Okay, so I've got Max and all of his stuff out of package. I'm just going to briefly set these si things aside a little bit, or set these things aside, excuse me, to look at the figure. Here we have the Max Tennyson figure. I'm pretty excited about this. Max is always one of my favorite characters in the show, and it's cool that I finally have a figure of him. Um, he is done, obviously, in his Alien 4 slash Ultimate Alien Age slash Style, in a plumber suit, which is actually pretty neat. Although the Geek and Me wants to get a uh, eventual version in his, like, you know, regular clothes. But anyhow, let's take a look at his face sculpt. Uh, his face sculpt's pretty decent. It, lo it looks decently cartoon accurate. It could be a little bit better. There are other figures that capture the cartoon li likenesses better, but it still looks good. Um, the plumber suit overall looks really good and show accurate. It's kind of like this whitish gray with little red dots everywhere and then the black accents. And it looks really good, and I like the look of the plumber suits. Um, it comes off real well. Articulation-wise, his arms rotate around 360, and his legs can go forward and backwards a tiny bit, not very much, though. And his head can rotate around 360. So, standard alien collection articulation, but it's really nice to have this figure, and he, he doesn't look half bad at all. So, now, for what he comes with is all this pieces for uh, a bunch of different ships. And I have to say, this is actually quite fun. So it's got a bunch of different modes, so bear with me while I do this, because I've only practiced a few times. The first one we're going to do is called Battle Max. So you take this piece here, um, and then take this like missile piece, and put it right on top of here. And then you're going to want to take these pieces and latch them on the side. This forms the base. And then um, what you're going to want to do now is open up these pieces, and you're going to want to slide Max's arm into it. And like, it's really kind of tricky-ish to do. Um, make sure that you don't get it, uh, his a whole arm in there because it won't snap on, right? Oh, whoops, I'm sorry. This goes on this side. Derp. What we want to do is take his, his fist and put it in this little, uh, holder here. And then snap this on. So you got one done. So let's take the other one. Take this little peg here, put it in his, uh, hand. Whoops. Stay in the hand. That'd be good. No, stay in the hand, and then snap this around. Whoops. Derp. I'm having all kinds of mistakes with this, I'm sorry. There's so many different modes. Okay, so there. And then, you just, whoops, you don't let it roll. You place them on top of the little pegs on top, and he stands on it. And there you have Battle Max, um, which is, it's an okay mode. He's kind of like rolling along on this shooting turret. And he's got these, like, armored things, which it actually looks kind of neat and is, is fairly, uh, creative. Okay, the next thing we're going to do now is light speed mode. So in order to do that, we're going to take Max off, set these things off of him. Whoops. And now, what you're going to want to do is leave this completely alone and just take this here and line this peg up here with this hole and snap it in on the bottom. Oops not rip things off, and snap it in on the bottom. Come on. Don't embarrass me. It might be this. No, that's not this side. There we go. It can be a little tricky sometimes for whatever reason. Okay, and then take this top piece here, and then there's a hole in a peg, and line it up. It's pretty much the reverse of the bottom. Okay. And then do the same thing on this side.
แผงฮอแผงฮอแผงฮอ There you go and then put this back on top and then what you're gonna want to do here is pull this up and then pull these little uh, handlebars out and then take Max and you slide him in here and you put his hands on the handlebars like he's driving it and come on Max don't embarrass me good sir whoops so there you go he's got one hand on the wheel there you go so we have light speed mode which is kinda like this fast moving cart thing and he can shoot stuff. So that is light speed mode. Um, the next mode is really simple to do. I'm just going to leave Max in there and pull these things off to the side. And then you're going to want to reassemble them into their little cone shaped things. Well, actually, I'm sorry, I forgot a step. What you're going to want to do now is see these like squares on the side. Is you're going to want to place these around them, like so. Make sure the wheels are on the bottom, you know, because that's the way he's going to roll around. And that's how you always know. And here we have this mode, which is kind of like, it's basically a similar mode to the light speed, just like a regular mode. The box actually doesn't list what mode this is, but that's another mode. Okay, so for the next mode, it's actually really easy to transform. This is water mode. In order to do that, just pull these right off and then snap them on the bottom here, these holes and pegs and just pull it off, and snap it on come on, there we go and then we have water mode, so he can be like, you know, going on some water or something so you have that, um, let's see, next mode the next mode is pretty simple too, to transform from this uh, you're going to just want to take off these set them aside and then reassemble them and then just stick them right on here um, you'll see that they line up on the inside it may not seem like it at first there's a lot of things on this figure that seem like they don't line up at first but they do and so put those aside like this and then for this mode actually you're gonna want to take out max and reassemble this and this is what is known as charging mode so I guess I don't know it's charging or or it could be like a turret on his own like it's set aside, you know, so that he can, you can shoot stuff while Max is off doing something, I don't know. Okay, so the last mode here we're going to have is crawler mode. I'm going to put Max in it again, but we'll wait. So put these back on the sides here. Now this is uh, can be a little tricky. Um, what you're going to want to do is make sure that this is right. Okay, so is you're going to have to line these up oh, oops, duh, wrong side is this wrong side? yeah just put these on the side here like so um, where is it? here it is there's this little like rectangular groove that's going to fit in with this that you're going to want to line up and it, it can actually take some maneuvering for, uh, for whatever reason it can just be difficult at times It's like because the, the hole is kind of small and just making sure it fits in right it can be difficult the first time as you do it. Okay, so then all we do is once again put Max in it. Pull this out. Oops, don't want to break that off. Max, go in it and get your handlebars going on. Come on. And there you go, this is crawler mode. So it has some trouble standing, which is kind of obvious that it would, so I'm going to leave him lean up against here. So that's crawler mode. So there you go, that is all the modes. Um, there's actually probably some other modes you can do just like creatively that you can make up on your own, like as hybrids of the others, but that's all you get. But you know, overall, I really like this figure set. Like, I basically bought this for the Max figure, which is a pretty solid figure. But the little battleship thing's actually pretty neat. Like that Gwen toy I bought was kind of uh, the I got it for the Gwen figure, and the ship was or the helicopter was stupid. But this thing's actually quite a bit of fun. The transformations are really simple and and uh, alter it enough to make it look unique and different. And like there's a lot of playability value. Whether you're a collector and you just like to display cool different battleship modes for Max, or you're a kid and you just want to um, 
play with it. It's got a lot of playability and it's really fun. And, and the ship actually looks quite nice, and I'll probably display it in one of these modes. So, overall, I recommend this figure. I think if you want a Max figure, and this is the only way to get it in America, then I definitely recommend picking this up. You get a, a cool little Max figure and a fun little ship. So anyway, until next time, make sure you check out Riders, Rangers, and Rambles for token news in the craziest way possible. And while you're there, check out the podcast and the Ramboards. So make sure to check out Riders, Rangers, and Rambles.com for all of that. So until next time, Dawson Rider, signing